Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Debt Repair video. In today's edition, we'll be working on a, a MacBook Pro model 1278. Uh, this unit came in for a battery replacement. Uh, as you can see, the top case has already been popped off and removed. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so as I said, this top case, the client came in, he said it actually physically popped off and kind of get a hint as to what happened. It's actually bent from the amount of pressure coming from the battery. It seems like it's also bulging on the top side. So we're getting bulging on both sides. Let's get the uh, bottom panel off here and take a look at that. That is one of the worst battery expansions I have seen in a while. Yeah, I'm glad he came in for repair because that could be a costly fire. Uh, so let's go ahead and start by removing this battery. Uh, we're gonna use a tri-wing screwdriver here and remove this screw. A little bit hard to see, unfortunately, because the battery is actually bending as I'm removing that screw. I believe the other screws have already popped off. I'm gonna have to take a look here. All right, so there is one more screw that's pretty hard to see because it's so dislodged, uh, but it's on this right side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and release that and pull it out. Take a spudger here, unplug this extra swollen battery fish it out and let's get a closer look at that thing that is pretty horrifying honestly there's only maybe one or two good cells left in here the rest of them have chosen to become marshmallows now that we have that battery out it's a pretty simple repair we're just going to go ahead and unbox the new one and put it in All right, if you guys are looking for any parts or tools check out the links below if you're interested in mail and repair or data recovery service, check us out at techbook.com. We do it all every day. All right, so taking our fresh new battery in here, we're just gonna go ahead and slot it into place. Secure the connector. Take our two screws. The longer one goes on the right-hand side here. And this shorter one goes right here. Don't need to over tighten these too much. Uh, the battery's not gonna flop around a whole lot. Just as long as they're about finger tight, you're good to go. We're gonna take our bottom case here and hopefully it's not too bent. We're gonna see if we can make it fit again here. Client lost some screws when the bottom panel popped off. So we grabbed some extras, but we will go ahead and thread these in. Uh, these are Phillips heads. All right, so we're gonna have to grab some more screws uh, after this video to tighten those up. I don't think these are gonna reach. Nice, okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and flip this unit over, give it some power, and make sure everything turns on. All right, so now that we've grabbed the charger, we're just gonna make sure the unit powers on correctly. Good news is it's receiving power. Screen came up. Let's just turn the brightness up so we can see what's happening here. And it looks like everything's good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techtep.com or click the link below for mail-in repairs. We'll see you guys in the next episode.